In the last video, we took care of the noise problems that were happening in this photo. Now we need to look at sharpening the image. Whenever you do either noise reduction or sharpening an image, you should be in at 100%. The quickest way to get to 100% is to double click on the um, zoom tool here, or conversely, you can come down here and say 100%, or you can use the command plus or minus keys to zoom in or out, control plus or minus on a PC. But uh, here we have our sharpening tools. Again, the secret that most people don't know about in Camera Raw is that you can hold down the Option key or the Alt key on a PC as you play around with these sliders, and you'll be able to more clearly see what they're doing. And so I'm holding my Option key now, and I'm going to slide this over. Now you can see it goes from fairly soft at 150%, we're actually introducing noise back in to the into the image, so it it ends up being a trade-off here. Now, the radius shows how much of a line. See, Photoshop, Photoshop. Uh, creates the illusion of sharpening by putting a white line on one side of an edge and a dark line on the other side of an edge, which makes it look crisper. Uh, it's not really bringing things back into focus. And so the more of a radius you have, the, the larger that that line is. What you want is something about like this. The detail has to do with, yeah, let me take that radius up so you can see a little better. The detail has to do with how much gets sharpened. All right, so at 100%, we're sharpening about every pixel. So you see this kind of grainy stuff going on in between. So what we want is the detail to capture the major edges, but, but not the not the real fine, noisy looking ones. So I'm going to move it right there. The masking lets you back off. On this edge, it means it's sharpening everything. But as I move it to the right, you can see which, which lines are being sharpened and which ones are being dropped. And so that looks pretty good. If I turn off everything, you can see the noisy picture. Turn it back on. It's a little softer, but the edges of the mountains and uh, the lines and things have been, have been sharpened. So you're playing with this balance between blurring and sharpening to get the, the very best effect. That is how to sharpen in Camera Raw.